HCL Technologies. I'm here today to demonstrate some exciting new capabilities in the Domino 10 server. In Domino 10, we have made a lot, we've made a lot of improvements to the clustering mechanism to improve cluster coherency. We do things like um, store the state of streaming cluster application so that on server restart, it can immediately resume, not, not require an RTR. Uh, we do things like monitor how current the different replicas of a certain file are across the cluster. But today I'm gonna to actually demonstrate a new feature in Domino 10 that we call cluster symmetry. What cluster symmetry is, is it allows you to define for your cluster a certain set of subfolders underneath your data directory that you wanna have Domino automatically keep in sync, if you will, across the servers. So that if a database like gary.nsf exists in the mail one directory on Gibson, we, it should automatically um, exist on the mail one directory of the other servers in the cluster as well, if that, if that particular subfolder is being monitored. So the way this feature works is we open the name and address book for the cluster. And you'll notice under the cluster, there's a new type of document called a configuration document. And if I was managing more than one cluster and they were all sharing the same nav, I could have multiple documents here, but this is a relatively simple test server environment. So I have one cluster named the electric guitar cluster. I double click that. And you can see that there's a basics tab that gives me information here. Just says the name of the cluster and the name of the participating servers in that cluster. If I go to the symmetry tab, this is where I specify which of the subfolders on the uh, on the servers that I want to have maintained as symmetrical by Domino. And you can see that here I've selected mail one, two, and sports. I have also told it that I want it to fix any missing files that it finds automatically. And I want it to scan for work to do once, once a minute. That's the, actually the shortest interval that you can set for a scan interval. And that's not really practical for a production server, but you know when we're doing demos, right, we have to keep things moving fast. So having defined this symmetrical cluster layout, I can now go to a server console and I can interact with the repair engine. Now you normally won't do this, but again, all of these commands are available to you as an administrator and they're very handy for demo purposes. So I'm gonna ask the repair engine to list all of the files that it's monitoring. And it will go off and since I had told it I was monitoring the mail one and mail two folders, goes off and lists all the files that are on there. And the sports subfolder has a single NSF, my teams. But importantly, it says there are no missing files for this server, which is good. Doesn't make for a good demo, but it's good. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, remove one of these files. We're gonna remove this sports my team database and we'll let repair bring it back. But before we do that, we wanna demo, we wanna, we wanna get a little more information about the database. So we're gonna ask, does this database use any um, NLOs, any DAOS objects? So we'll ask the DAOS manager. The DAOS manager will scan the database, come back and say, yes, this database does use DAOS objects, uses 23 of them. So for the purposes of the demo, go off and list those. 23, and if we look at Deos in its entirety, on this very simple server, you can see there are 28 um, Deos objects and 23 of them are referenced by this sports team database. So I've actually created a little batch file to delete those. Nothing really too sophisticated. Go ahead and execute that. And you see that they're gone. So now I need to remove the database because this mechanism for auto repair is actually looking for does the file exist or not. So in order to do that, I'm gonna to have to shut down my server because um, it has the database open and it won't let me delete it at the file system level. Go ahead and do that. We'll just nuke the entire directory after the 
servers down. Okay. Make sure there's nothing in there. There isn't. And we will restart the server. This time we're going to ask repair just to tell us what's what's missing. And it realizes that the uh, sports my teams NSF is missing here. Um, now, when we use this service in production, what we're going to do is we're going to add a server task to the server task list in our notes any, which is the auto repair task. And the auto repair task is going to actually scan looking for missing files. And I have disabled that or not loaded it here for demo purposes because it would have just gone off and fixed things and we never would have been able to see them a step at a time, right? And I want to I want to illustrate some of the points of repair. So what we'll do, so I'll oh, take that back. It was loaded, but good enough for our for our purposes. Uh, it went off and <laughs> it is loaded. It sensed that it was missing, went off and did a repair, and also repaired 23 DAOs objects. So if we go back out here and we look at DAOs again, well, we can see that sure enough, those DAOs objects were restored. There's a very important point here about Deos objects. If you use Deos, you know that by default, Deos encrypts NLO objects on disk, and then it uses the server's key, the server's ID file, to uh, encrypt those files. That means that NLOs are not transportable across servers. You can't just grab NLOs from the Gibson server and plop them onto the Fender server. They won't work uh, because Fender won't be able to decrypt them. But repair here will do the right thing automatically for you. I have a little script I can run here. And what that does is it goes off and it reads, it looks at the, the three different servers, Fender, Gibson, and Music Man. And you can see that they all have NLOs with the same exact name, but they're not actually the same physical file because they have different checksums. And that again is because they're unique to the server because they're encrypted with the server's key. But Deos has done the right, I'm sorry, Repair has done the right thing. It reached over to the donor file, asked it to give it a an unencrypted stream, um, sent that across a secure connection, and then re-encrypted it with the server's key. So that's actually all very useful. So we're gonna go back and do a slightly larger test here. We'll go back to configuration. And we'll ask it to change the list of folders that are monitored. Now, one thing that's interesting here is you see that it gives you a list of potential subfolders that could be monitored. That's the union of all of the folders that are on all of the servers in the cluster. So if you're here on Fender itself, and you look at just the directories, you can see that it has a mail one, a two, and a three folder or subfolder, but it doesn't have a mail four, but that appears in the list because its cluster mates have it. So again, this is the concatenated list or the union of all of the folders. So we'll go ahead and add a couple of additional mail subdirectories. Say OK. Save the configuration. And immediately, if we ask Fender, are you missing anything? Sure enough, it knows that it's missing several NSFs from the mail for subdirectory. Now we know, because I uh, we saw it earlier, that the auto repair task is running. And there it goes. It kicked in, found that they were missing initiates the repairs automatically. And give that a minute. And then if we list missing, there are no missing files. It's brought them all back from its cluster mates. So if you want to use this feature yourself in beta 2, I do want to just tell you that you are going to have to, for beta 2, add this INI to each of the servers in your cluster, which is D10 underscore enable underscore repair equal 1. And we would also recommend adding the auto repair task to your server task so that it automatically detects missing files and repairs them. That's the end of this demo. I hope you found it useful. And we will talk about other repair options in the next video.